Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Adrian Somoza and this is Bond. And today I have something special. A while ago, two designers, Igor Friedland and Diraf Singh, asked for a video on my design process, okay? So, first of all, thank you guys for asking questions, keep them coming. Uh, and what I decided to do today is to, one, I, I've already recorded my process of designing a website, a minimal website. I'm gonna break it down in, into two parts because it's a little bit uh, long otherwise. I'm gonna do a time lapse of the process and then I'm gonna share with you like the steps that I'm taking and, and you're going to be able to see it in real time while I, I'll explain it. So hopefully that's useful for, for you guys. Uh, so let me know and let's get started. So, the first thing that I always do when I start a design project, or any creative project for that matter, is to look for references. I have quite a few boards in Pinterest, and for this particular project I had a, a couple of boards that were relevant, because I had like a stylish board and some references from stylish and minimal designs. So I gathered all these references and started looking at them and that creates like mental images. And then once I fill up my mind with a lot of images and I feel like I can't take it anymore, then I start to throw in some elements and start playing with typography, colors and stuff like that. Uh, here's a photo of uh, that my bro SSC Cella took uh, of me a while ago. So I started playing with this, threw in some Japanese characters because the brand is, uh, has a name in Japanese. So then I started playing with the title and also one, one quick thing that I did before all of this is doing the layout. Uh, so I defined the grid and I defined the, the canvas that Usually I do 1920 by 1080 for desktop. Then I started playing with some badges and as you can see, I'm loving this circular typographic badges. I think it adds a lot of identity to the, to the brand and to the design, a lot of character. So then I, I threw in a good Design is invisible subtitle and then a paragraph. Started playing around. Tried removing some curves from this characters, uh, Japanese characters to do it more thin. Added the menu. And kept on playing with the typography and, and the layout. As you can see, I use the columns, but yeah, this is going to improve in the second part. Okay guys, that was part number one. Next week, I'm gonna be sharing part number two, where I go into details about how to structure the, the, the elements and how to balance it a little bit more to create this uh, something a, a little bit more refined. If you didn't already, hit that subscribe button and little word of encouragement, everything is a process. If you feel that you're not like doing stuff that you love and you feel that you have a lot ahead of you, then embrace that, embrace the challenge, go forward and just design. I guarantee you that you will get better, but you need to practice every day a little bit, a little bit every day. That's it for today, guys. I will see you next time.